can you shatter a rose into a thousand pieces? Let's get down to the roots with Dr. Mark Vanderlyn. Yeah, so this is a very nice rose and at room temperature, we're outside right now, but it's essentially room temperature. The petals on the rose are very soft and you can see me, me moving them and I can push on them and they'll just deform. They're very soft. But if I put them in the liquid nitrogen, the material property of the rose will change. So right now as I put this warm flower in, the fluid is uh, boiling off. And once the boiling stops, then I know the flower is at the same temperature as the liquid nitrogen. Wow. And then its properties will become different at that point. It's bubbling pretty crazy. It's a very big temperature difference. Again, maybe about 320 degrees temperature difference between these flowers and, and the liquid, even more than that. Wow. Okay, so the bubbling is, has slowed down. So when I pull this out, it should be at the same temperature as the liquid nitrogen. Ooh. So you can see the smoke coming off of that. And the big difference is this is gonna be very brittle. If I pinch on this again, like I did before, Ooh. something much different happens. Can I try it? Go ahead. Ooh. It's just falling apart. Yes, it's very brittle and it breaks apart. You don't need rose-colored glasses to see that.